the Cinco strikes again. I'm telling you, this has got to be one of the most simplest baits I've ever fished. Uh, besides like a, um, a grub tail, a jig in the tail. Um, it's got to be one of the simplest baits I've ever fished. Uh, you can get excellent results. All sizes of fish bite it, large and small. Uh, small mouth, large mouth, but as you can see, large mouth love it. And uh, it really makes a difference. But I'm going to go ahead and throw this fish back here. It's a little small one, about a pound or so, somewhere around there, maybe less. Um, but a nice fish nonetheless. I mean, every bass counts. You can't tell me otherwise. Uh, if you think otherwise, definitely haven't been watching my videos. Um, doesn't matter the size of it. You got to love fishing. Give it a kiss. Mwah. And uh, I'm going to release this one. So uh, definitely, 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 definitely. Just uh, take a little time and get a um, get a Cinco. That Cinco is so simple. You can get several different sizes. Um, I do believe that this one is a six inch, if I'm correct. Um, and uh, it is a great little bait to just toss out on a uh, lazy Saturday evening or morning, whatever. Bass love it. Uh, I like to use a uh, heavy salted with a eighth ounce jig head and that seems to work great um gamakatsu hooks you can try those i've tried it weightless um and just and just the hook it falls a little bit slower if those bass are reluctant to bite then you probably want to use a weightless um presentation because it'll give them more more time in the strike zone you give your worm more time in the strike zone um, but um, the weighted just gives it less time and it falls a little bit faster so those bass don't have a chance to think about it. Wacky rigging it, best way. You can try different ways, whatever works for you. But wacky rig, uh, wacky rig and drop shotting it works great. So, okay. All right. That's another, another bass on. I'm going to keep fishing here. Um, I have another one I'm going to try out here again. Uh, one of my go-to my go-to baits. Um, and it doesn't matter what I'm fishing for, really. It really doesn't. Uh, but just about everything bites this. I haven't found too much. I've caught crappie, uh, bluegill, bass, catfish, uh, saw guy, of course. They were originally kind of made for saw guy. Um, walleye. I mean, you just just about you named it white bass. Just caught on this, and that is a, a big big Joshi swim bait. I'm just gonna get this, uh, show you the the way that it normally sits. The this guy, what he's doing, uh, Josh, what he is doing with his lures is ridiculous. The amount of assortment that he has now that it's been about. Oh, six or six or eight years, somewhere around that he's been making them close to. Um, the flexibility and the softness in this bait is just ridiculous. And the swimming action that you get from these swim baits is unbelievable. That is why a lot of fish do not resist it. They do bite, they snip, they bite hard, they hold on. Um, but yeah, if you don't have these, you need to get them. BigJoshSwimBaits.com. Uh, that's where you can find them. If you don't know like that, just Google it. You'll get pop up. He's on Facebook. Check it out. Uh, these chartreuse is fire. Okay, that is fire right there. Uh, one of the first ones I ever bought. He has several different colors. Um, always coming out with new ones to try. Uh, they range from different lengths all the way down to two and. 2.3 inches I believe and go up to like five or something like that they're they're really 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 
nice lures um, and and uh, you will definitely love them once you fish them you'll see why um, I always like to use when I'm uh, using exposed come on focus here when I'm using exposed hooks I typically like to use the red thin wire hooks because in case I especially on expensive baits not to say that this one is expensive but especially when I'm fishing uh, rocky areas or something like that heavy curry areas I'm using a thin wire hook because it is going to straighten out and 90% of the time when I hook up on something and put some weight on it it's gonna straighten out but it doesn't it doesn't straighten out with a super heavy fish I'm talking about up to five or six pounds it won't straighten out you know uh, if you're you know Kevin Van Dam and you're not catching anything less than seven pounds ha 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 um, that's just sarcasm but if you're not catching anything less than that then don't use these hooks whatever but average weekend guy get them all right JTO out